So your computer or laptop is not booting up and you want to save that precious data, photographs, documents or whatever you want to save. Now I'm going to show you how to save that data to uh, an FTP server of your choice as long as you've got uh, FTP server access to your own uh, space there. Now what we're going to be doing is going to be using a program called Ultimate Boot CD for Win and we're going to boot up to a pre-installed environment because the PC is not booting and we're going to save files off the C drive to the FTP server. So all I need to do here now is fire up uh, my virtual box because this is how I'm going to show you it's done. And then uh, I've got a Windows XP there and what I'm going to do is boot to my Ultimate Boot CD for Win. Now you're going to need to make sure you've got two things here really, an Ultimate Boot CD for Win already already created and you're going to need to make sure you've got an actual FTP server space okay and all the actual passwords and username and host host name okay so let's fire it up and get this started I'm just going to let this uh, fire up to the desktop of the pre-installed environment let this load in it does take a bit of time because obviously it's loading into memory so you won't have this sort of, uh, it might take a bit of time for you guys as well, but all that matters is that you're going to be backing up your data. Now these CDs are crucial for any technician that wants to do work on a machine that's not bootable. You can clear viruses, all sorts of stuff, and as you can see, even backing up your data. Now there's numerous ways of backing up your data. You can actually back it up with a, a few different programs already built into this piece of software. So let me just let this load in. Now you want to make sure you click on start shell here. And that will start the actual shell. And it shouldn't take too long to load up once you get to this stage. you won't receive this I'm gonna get a low uh, virtual memory because it's on a virtual box I'll probably not give it enough memory that's okay and all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly click on this to actually load it up a bit quicker okay so that's loaded in now and as you can see we're on our pre-installed environment I can see my C drive for my uh, Windows operating system and I can back up all my files from there if I wanted to. And as I said there is a number of different ways of backing up. You can actually use Handy Recovery or you can actually use uh, this uh, Drive Image XML. I'm going to probably make another video and show you how to do that. So let's actually uh, go start. Make sure we've got internet first and if we haven't got internet it's not a problem. We haven't got internet so I can actually just fire it up quickly and all I need to do here is go to uh, control panel and PE network configurator and then click yes and this will actually DHCP um, will actually load all the internet for me click OK and we should have internet now and there we have the internet so now we've got the internet we can now actually start to back up our precious files so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a program called FileZilla that's built into this uh, application and all we need to do here is go programs network tools and FileZilla click OK and this will fire up our FileZilla so all we need to do now is put in our host username password and port or you can click on this little tab here it's a bit like FTP really and put in all your details inside here okay so click on new site and all you need to do here is put in all your information okay so I'm going to be putting my information in and uh, so you don't have to see all my details okay so I've got my details all set up now and all I've done is just clicked on the connect button and now I, as you can see I'm connected to the server and all I need to do here as you can see remote uh, site. Um, this is the actual server here which is the server with all my space on it up on the server and we've got the C drive which is here obviously which is with my Windows files and all I want to do here is come into uh, say for argument's sake uh, my documents and then my pictures and say I wanted to upload this file here I could actually upload this file um, to my server by just actually clicking on a destination place where I want to go and all I need to do is say for argument's sake I wanted to do it 
just to there all I need to do now is just drag this file straight into there like so and that's it and that's that file starting to go up now obviously once you've done all the files that you need it's handy for little documents or photographs or something of that nature and there's other ways of backing up your data but this is just uploading stuff to the actual server of your choice so I hope this video has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please rate for my videos and subscribe to my channel also if you've got any questions here you can actually uh, post a question to me or go on the forums best so okay so thanks very much for watching I'm babbling on now so uh, have a happy new year everyone and thanks again for all your support keep watching my videos bye for now